My name is Nazdin Virchibabu. I'm a neuroscientist and I'm an assistant professor in the Faculty of Medicine in the Department of Physical Therapy here at UBC. So my TKN is around developing the curriculum for a new course that's going to be part of the liberal arts curriculum that the students will do in the second year at University of Central Asia. And my course is called Brain and Behavior. Yeah, so I had an incredible experience. So the second year curriculum has been designed by faculty who have come literally from all over the world. We have some faculty who are Canadian that have come from University of Toronto, University of Victoria, and myself from UBC. But there are others who have come from Columbia University, from University of Michigan, from SOAS in the UK, um, Kent State in the United States. So it's a really international faculty that the uh, previous dean, Arif Kachara, put together to create a curriculum that is really a liberal arts program that covers everything from sort of a spectrum from political science to the history of Central Asia to the culture and the music of Central Asia. There's also a course on international citizenship. So all of these courses that make up the, the liberal arts curriculum kind of try and put a focus on Central Asia and how Central Asian history and politics and the region, the geography, the culture, and how that relates to the rest of the world internationally. So trying to you know, show the uniqueness of the Central Asian historical, political, cultural um, kind of milieu that it's based on. My course is the only science-based course and it's quite different because I'm taking a different perspective. Instead of showing that the Central Asians are unique, I'm actually showing them that they are really very similar to everybody else. That really I'm trying to show the common humanity through the biology. So I start with looking at the concept of evolution and how human beings developed and how we're much more similar than we are actually different. There are of course cultural reasons why there are different, historical reasons, many, many reasons. But in the essence, we're really the same across the world in terms of how we interact as human beings, but how we share our biology, not just with other human beings, but also within the animal world in terms of the apes, the primates. So I'm trying to show the students that as part of their curriculum, they're looking at the uniqueness, but at the same time, they need to have a balance to show that we do actually have a common humanity and that we share many of the characteristics and traits with the rest of the world as well. So putting that together, I think will give them a nice balance to show the uniqueness of the region, but also the similarities that they share with the rest of humanity as well. Thank you.